How's it going YouTube? Hope you're all doing well. Today is October 19th and it is 1.34pm. I'm on my lunch break and I said it's about time I gave you guys an update. But to be honest, it's been time. I've been a little bit of a coward maybe. So let's get straight into the video. If you, do, if you don't know, if you're new here, my name is Radia. I've been on a weight loss journey for what feels like a decade. I've done all different kinds of diets and things. And then I finally realized it was a lifestyle change that I needed. I found fasting and here we are. So the last time I recorded a video, I spoke about how I was stuck at 212 pounds and how um, I wasn't fasting and I was maintaining my weight by just keeping active and continuing to eat every day. Since then, I've been the most consistent I've ever been on my whole weight loss journey, but the scale still isn't doing what I want it to do and that's what I want to talk about. So the highest weight I've ever been is around 230 pounds and then yes, currently I am 216 pounds. Like I said, the last time I recorded, which was about three weeks ago, I was 212 pounds. What's happening? I really don't get it guys. Like I said, it's the most consistent I've ever been. I'm walking every day. I'm either fasting or eating healthily one meal a day. I don't get it. So I did take myself over to TikTok <laughs> to find out why people tend to be doing the right thing and the scale is either staying the same or going up. And just a few of the answers I have here is if you're on your period or if your period is due, inflamed muscles, um, holding on to water, if you've eaten later than usual and if, you, oh, if you've had too much salt. That one I think I might be guilty of. I don't really like too much salt, but I think a lot of the food that I cook is like really seasoned. Anyway, I don't know. Let me, sh let me show you something. So what you can see here is I've started to document from October the 4th um, what's going on. So in the pink, it's the date. In the black, that's how much I weigh in pounds. And then in the blue, that's how much steps I've done for the day. So on Sunday the 8th, so almost halfway down the page, Sunday the 8th, I was 214 pounds and a quarter. I felt like, oh look, I'm really getting down in weight. I did almost 14,000 steps that day. Then I got on the scale the next day and I was 217 and a half pounds. This is just an example of how the scale is going crazy. Now on the Sunday, you might think, well, what did you eat? I had one meal early in the day, about 3, 4 p.m. And that was it. Woke up on the Monday, I'm 217 and a half pounds. So I did throw a little bit of a wobble. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I spent two days, the Monday and the Tuesday, feeling sorry for myself. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna feel confident. You know, just that whole worries me. I just ate what I wanted. And as you can see, I barely walked. The, the, the Monday I did 886 steps. And then the Tuesday I did almost 3000 steps, which isn't normal for me. I was averaging um, about seven to 9,000 steps a day. And then only recently, about six days ago on Saturday, I decided that I wanted to go for 10,000 steps a day. And I've been hitting my goals every single day. I've got my watch, um, which is you know, linked to the phone, and it shows me um, exactly what I'm doing, if I'm hitting my targets, what I've got left to do, how much calories I've burnt, all of that. I've really been invested, guys. I've been trying my best. I haven't been losing the weight as fast as in the past, like when I'm doing three day fasts and then literally having one meal and going back into another three day fast. I love my three day fast, but I'm just not mentally there at the moment. I've really been struggling to do three day fast and that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not there at the moment, um, but I'm just, I'm, I'm losing the weight, but I'm losing it a lot slower than in the past. But I also feel like it's the better way for me because in the past, yes, I lost weight very fast, but what happened, I put it back on. And like I said, I'm trying to create a lifestyle change. The walking is something I never thought I'd see myself doing. I spent a lot of time in the past telling people, no, I'm not going on a walk with you. I prefer the gym, I prefer weights. And then what happened a few months ago was I injured my back, didn't I, when I was riding a bike. And although it's better now, that got me into walking because like I don't feel like I don't feel confident to get in the gym and push weights so I'm going to go for walks even though I didn't want to and then now I've started to really enjoy it but yes so I've been really disheartened guys and then I've realized that 
and this is not the first time this has happened it's happened a few years back where i put so much energy and effort into the scale and i allowed it to throw me off track and um, I realised that I just need, I'm still going to write down my weight every morning, but I need to literally just leave the scale, like not think too much about it because I have lost weight. That's what I wanted to say. I've said all that to say I've lost weight, guys. And how do I know I've lost weight? Because of how my clothes are fitting. I have said before, use the tape measure and use your clothes to tell you the story because the scale is not always going to be accurate. Like I've just explained what I found out on TikTok. So I've got this dress. I bought it about a year ago. It's a very thin, it's very, very thin. And I've never worn it because it shows everything. And I just never felt confident to wear it. It's cream. It's like a day dress. It's really nice. Anyway, I use it though to um, kind of gauge where I'm at. So I've never been able to wear it. I've never felt comfortable in that dress. Tried it on two days ago and it fit me the best it has ever fit me. Still don't feel like I could wear it outside, but I feel like in a week or two, I definitely would be able to, that's how close we are. Not to my goal, I'm not that close to my goal, I don't believe. Well, I know I'm not, but I'm definitely getting there. And so that, that's why I wanted to share this with you guys so that you could be, so that you could understand, like keep going. If you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, forget about the scale, just keep, just keep going. So another thing that I've done is I've created this thing, what I call plan B. What I've realized is in the past, I would have my little schedule where I talk about what I'm going to do for this week. I'm going to fast, I'm going to do two day fast, I'm going to do three day fast. And when I haven't felt um, like I was mentally strong enough, I've just broken a fast. And I didn't care what I broke it with. I was just like, I can't do this, so I broke my fast wasn't really active and I was not really putting, I wasn't losing any weight. I was in fact putting weight on. What I've now realized is, well, now that I know sometimes it's extremely difficult for me to fast, I should have a plan B. My plan B is that I have food in the house that I can cook, no takeout, where it's healthy, low carb, low sugar, one meal for the day, get my 10,000 steps in and keep it pushing. And so that's what I've been doing. So on days when I don't feel like I can fast, when I feel like, yeah, I can, I can do it. I know I can do it, but I'm not doing it because I feel too mentally weak and I know I'm going to eat. I'll have something healthy. I'll go for my 10,000 10, step walk and then I'll keep it pushing. And that's where I think I'm winning this time and I'm being consistent because I understand that not every day I'm going to be able to fast for whatever reason, but that doesn't mean I should go backwards on my journey. Another thing in relation to walking now, I might not be able to get it all, all in, or my 10,000 steps all in at one time. Weekends, yes, there's no excuse. I don't work on the weekend. I can go for a walk and walk for as long as it takes me to get to my 10,000 steps. But during the week when I'm working, lunchtime is not enough time for me to get my 10,000 steps in because I've got to get back to work. And before work, it's only about half an hour, 40 minutes between it being light and me starting work. Before that, it's too dark. I'm not walking out there when it's so dark. And so I break it up basically is what I'm saying. I might walk before work and then at lunchtime or at lunchtime and then after work um, and just break it up. Um, my sister messaged me this morning and she was like, I'm following in your footsteps, no pun intended. Just like she didn't, she, she, she herself was trying to get the whole hour in and realizing I want the computer to turn off. She was trying to get her whole hour in and realised that she was putting a lot of pressure on herself. She wasn't managing to do the whole hour. So she's now breaking it up. So that's just something for you guys to think about, you know, the whole plan B thing. And if you can't get as much exercise you want to get in at one time, see if you can break it up. Make things manageable. Put less stress on yourself, guys. Now, I do have some notes. I just want to check if I've covered everything. Yeah, I think I have. Um, so... I've not been posting because of that, because I've been like, guys, this is my hobby, believe it or not. I love making content. I love talking about my journey. And that's why I'm so transparent because I know that I am not the only person out there that is struggling to lose weight. It is hard. Even when I feel like I'm doing everything right, it still feels difficult at times. And I just wanted to, I want to share and I've not been sharing because I'm too worried about but the scale hasn't gone down to 210 yet. The scale hasn't gone to 200 yet. So what? 
I'm recording my journey. So whatever the scale is saying and doing, I'm still going to record because I love recording and I hope I'm helping someone. Guys, I need to get back to work now. Yeah, got to get back to work. I just wanted to do this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you're smashing your goals and I'll see you in my next video.